Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Brad in Classroom 7, and we're going to do a fun little math activity with a die, or dice, and drawing. So first, parents, draw a shape for your kids. It can be a heart, it can be a circle, it could be a square. The shape really doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to add dots, just like on the dice, to the, to the heart. So take a look. So I can put three dots for the number three. One, two, three three dots, and I can box it out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the heart with the dots from the dice, and then the children would roll the die and color in whatever dot that they have. They'd count and then color. So I got a one, I can put a one over here for a big old one. I could take it and put a four here. And numbers can repeat, it really doesn't matter. And see, I have enough room for one more and say that my child needs more practice with the number five or six or four. I can always make another one of those too. There's another number four. So now what do we do? Now that we've made this, we would roll the die. I rolled a number six. I would then color in the number six. If I rolled the number two or one, I would color in the number one, and the color doesn't matter. Your child can pick and they can make different colors. They can make, you know, use lots of colors. That doesn't matter. You can take it, you can make one with a ball, and you can add lots of numbers in with a ball. And again, the same game applies. You can also make one if you wanted. Say you wanted to just make it really tough on them. You could do two dice together and you'd have to make bigger numbers. So you could either draw the dots or you could make the number. Like we could put an eight and then when the kid rolls two fours, they're gonna color in the eight. Now this is obviously too small, it would have to be bigger so that you'd have a lot more numbers in it. But again, you could also even do numbers with it. So two, a three, a four, a five, this could have been a one or a six, and you can color in, and they would then take this and they'd have to identify one, two, three, four, which one's the number four, color in the number four. And this is a very fun and easy math game for parents to do at home.